Alrighty guys, we have a major problem and it is gonna stop us in our tracks and it's entirely my fault. Today we are continuing on with our never ending fabrication project, which is the front suspension for our 1500 horsepower four wheel drive turbo big block Chevy drag truck chassis that we are getting ready to put underneath the ugly truck. Every day we get a little bit closer, we get a few more things knocked out. Um, we have the driver's side more or less done in terms of A arms, we have the passenger side Three quarters of the way done, all I've got to do is final weld the sleeves onto the end of the control arm, put my reinforcement in there, a um, couple of reinforcements on the lower control arm, and then finally, we got our laser cut parts for the upper shock tower, so I can't wait to get those mocked in place because that's like the next major hurdle for this front end. And that'll pretty much get the front in a roller. The back, we just have an axle that's on the way. Um, that'll be pretty simple, of course, the anti-roll bar and T-notch. and. I'll tell you guys, every time I think about how much work we have left to do, my mind just kind of, it explodes. But anyway, um, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So let's get eaten. That guy is basically going to go something like that. I get a little more trim to do on the other side, but that's kind of my reinforcement. Doesn't look awesome, but better than nothing. All right, so we got this control arm almost done. The only thing left is I'm gonna be welding this brace on. It's just gonna kind of sit right there underneath that flat section, kind of tie the two ends together. The only problem is yesterday when I did this on the other upper control arm, uh, the heat from welding that one plate in caused these two ends to come in by like a quarter of an inch. Um, lucky I could fix it with a port of power, but this time I'm just gonna take some threaded rod and a bunch of washers and spacers and just kind of brace this up so hopefully it doesn't get pulled while we weld. But if it does, we can fix it again with the port power. All right, while the control arm kind of cools off for a minute, I want to unwrap all of our laser cut stuff because this is like what I'm the most excited about. Um, so let's just jump right in and I'll show you kind of what we've built. These big pieces here, uh, these are the upper shock towers. So there's going to be two of them per side. Basically, they're going to go one on either side of the coilover. And of course, we have the height adjustments so we can set a right height where we want. These are one inch on center. Uh, the one I designed it around, it should fit in this one right here, but of course we can go lower or higher. And this is kind of like the, uh, this is the template that we started off them. And actually, pretty darn close, so that's pretty cool. Uh, these guys here, because I like building stuff overkill, these are doubler plates. All I'm gonna do there, uh, this is quarter, this is eight. I'm just gonna kind of TIG weld those on top to give it a uh, 3 8 inch thick mounting surface. So we got one on each side like that. 
So that's the that's like the meat and potatoes of it. Uh, these guys here, with my initials in them, this is going to be a backing plate. So the I made those for bend lines. It's going to basically go from here. It's going to bend there and then bend up like that. And uh, well, I'll be able to show you better on the car, but something like that. Well, yeah, something kind of like that. All right, these little triangles, I got too much going on here. These little triangles here, these are shock mounts. Pretty thick, three eighths. And I could have done these quarter with a doubler, but I just figured since the doubler would have been pretty small, why not just make them from the thicker material. This guy here, if you follow me around, this is just going to be a filler plate for the frame. I might have made that just a touch big, but well, you get the picture. So that goes there. And then uh, these are for the lower control arms. They're just going to kind of double up on the ball joint. So that is my laser cut order. I think I said 17 pieces in total. So uh, if it all fits together, that means it works. going to sit on the frame okay, basically right through there I designed it to go flat against this uh, bracket here I am going to have to slot it for the upper control arm bolt to go through so it kind of all sandwiches together um, I'm gonna have to like profile around that frame bump and stuff like that of course the filler plate it's gonna fill in, but more or less that's what our uh, shock tower looks like all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get the doublers welded onto these shock towers, and I want both sides to be lined up and it to be clamped pretty good so it doesn't warp or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take my bolts, kind of sandwich everything together like so, and tighten her up. Oh yeah, well, that's a good one. Of course, the rest of them are going to turn out probably like garbage, but I like that one. Dipped it. Got some filler on the end of the tungsten. All right, I'm letting this cool down just for a little bit. Um, don't want to warp these plates, even though it is thick quarter inch stuff, it can pull. So I'm just gonna, this guy's fully cooled down now. So we're gonna loosen this up and uh, see if it fits on the truck. And you definitely get a little tension in there. I might have to get the porta power out. All right, first things first. If it shrunk, which it did by only one sixteenth of an inch. We're supposed to be 13 and 15, we're at 13 and 7 eighths. So we have the tools to fix it.
we go. 15 sixteens, right on the money. Or the last tick before one for you metric guys. And of course, once again, this is all temporary because yes, we are going to coat or paint or do something with these. But just for mock-up. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. That is beautiful, guys. My grandfather used to always say, it's a thing of beauty and it'll last forever. All right, so the doubler plates are all welded on. I'm just waiting for these to cool down. And while I do, I'm gonna try to bend my backing plate. This is gonna kind of go um, something like that and I cut these slots out with not really a solid clue of how much room I needed but I'm going to use these to bend it it's going to kind of do one of those numbers and then we can weld that when we're done so hopefully this bends sort of easy enough I kind of started it already not too bad give it a good push far. actually one spacer bushing from the shock another spacer into the end Cool. Got to leave a nice little edge or a corner there for your weld to fill in because if you had that like flush like that for example your weld would have nothing to bite into so I leave about half the width of it nice fillet weld there so I am I'm really happy with that. It almost looks professional. So I know because of the contour of the frame, um, like if you see down here, it's flat with a shock tower that kind of has this little bump in. It does that on both sides. I had these all cut to the same exact size, so I know I'm going to have to trim this inner one a little bit, but just for the ease of manufacturing and drafting, I guess, I made them all the same. But um, more or less, that's kind of what it's going to look like. All right, so we have the rear mount marked here. We've got to trim about 7 sixteenths of an inch away just because the frame has that little kink in it right there. Um, so at this point, it's kind of trial and error. We measured this as good as we possibly could given it's kind of a weird, awkward spot. But um, I'd rather trim a little bit less than too much. So uh, we'll see what happens.
Alrighty guys, we have a major problem and it is gonna stop us in our tracks and it's entirely my fault. Or another way to say that when I like to put my positive spin on things is we have a pretty big opportunity to make something even more awesome than it was before. So here's the deal. My upper shock towers, they are not gonna fit, like not even close. And the reason is because I modified the upper control arms after I designed the shock towers. And now we have two things trying to occupy the same space, which never really seems to work out. So yeah, they're just not gonna work. Basically, I had to modify these upper control arms to get the alignment within range. Like obviously, it's important that your wheels are pointing straight up and down when you're at ride height. However, by shortening this upper arm, it brought the whole thing inward and it's now too close to the, to the shock. And with the spring on there, it's just not gonna fit. Like if I, if I only needed shocks, that wouldn't be a big deal. But because we have a coil spring, it's gonna crash into this and it's just not gonna work out. And of course, as the suspension cycles upward, this pivots even closer. So it's just a no-go. Um, I could possibly modify these to fit, but it's just gonna be so much work and it's not gonna be right. I would much rather just design these again from scratch, which I'm gonna do. And there's a couple of things that I wanna fix. Um, number one, of course, is the fact that they don't fit. We'll take care of that. Number two, over here on the passenger side, one thing I, I didn't overlook, like I realized this, but now that I see the brackets in place, um, it's gonna interfere with my turbo up pipe because on the big block, um, we have the cylinder head, we have the manifold that's here, we have another uh, crossover pipe from the driver side to the passenger side, and the crossover sits like right on top of the frame through here, and that's gonna be too close to the bracket. So I'm gonna redesign, hopefully, that area a little bit to give me more room here. Um, and then the other thing was the initials. I was hesitant on putting those in place. Uh, you can see they're backwards from this side. I put them like that because I thought when you're looking at the suspension through here, you'd be able to see them, which you can't really see them all that great. So now we have backwards letters, which we're gonna fix. And then the relief cuts that I drew in there for the fold, they're just like massive. So um, we're gonna change a few things around. We're gonna redesign this. And then in another week or two, we're gonna have a, another set of brackets that hopefully will fit, which no, not hopefully, they are gonna fit. Uh, send, cut, send, those guys are awesome. It's actually, it was only like, 180 bucks for this entire order, which it saves you so much time in the long run. I'm really happy with the way that the parts turned out, really happy with the design other than the fact that it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna save these shock towers for something because I feel like it's kind of gonna be useful and we'll just get some new ones built and another week later we'll be, we'll be one step further ahead. So thank you guys for watching. There's still a million things to do on this chassis. We got parts rolling in hopefully every day and a never ending list of work. So thank you, come back soon. Watch me mess up something else.